Good morning, O'Neill Dragons, and welcome to your WROP News. Today is Monday, April the 1st, 2019. It is day six of week B, which is Fit Lab and Makerspace Week. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Your lunch menu for today is baked spaghetti, green beans, french fries, and fruit. Have a great lunch. Your weather today is a high of 56 degrees with partly cloudy skies. The winds will be nice and light from 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight's overnight low is going to get down into the 30s with a low of 35 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, April 2nd, is spring picture day. So we're looking forward to seeing you all dressed your best for those pictures. This week, you can vote for the North Carolina Children's Book Award. Here are the nominees for this year. After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again, written and illustrated by Caldecott Medal winner Dan Santat. A Perfect Day, written and illustrated by Lane Smith. The Bad Seed, written by Jory John, Illustrations by Pete Oswald. Love, written by Newbery Medal winning author Matt De La Pena and illustrated by New York Times best-selling illustrator Lauren Long. Malala's Magic Pencil, written by Malala Yosafzai and illustrated by Kara Squett. Nerdy Birdie Tweets, story by Aaron Reynolds, pictures by Matt Davies. Plants Can't Sit Still, written by Rebecca E. Hirsch, illustrations by Mia Posada. Read the Book, Lemmings, written by Amy Dykeman, illustrated by Zachariah Ohora. Supermanny Stands Up, written by Kelly DiPuccio, illustrated by Stephanie Gregan. Trombone Shorty. Written by Troy Trombone Shorty Andrews and illustrated by Caldecott Honor winner Brian Collier. You can vote by coming to the Media Center with your class. Teachers, grab the little cup I have it labeled and give each student a sticker. Students, put your stickers next to the one that you think is the best and should win the award. Your sticker should go on the next empty square in the hundreds chart. I'll share the results next Monday during Motivation to Read Monday. Happy reading and happy voting! Here's an update on the March Reading Madness bracket. We're down to the final four teams and the final four books. Who's going to become this year's national champion? Here's the four books and four teams left. Michigan State is left they are Captain Underpants and the Invasion of the Incredibly Naughty Cafeteria Ladies from Outer Space. And this is really cool because Mrs. Davies, our first grade teacher, went to Michigan State. Texas Tech is paired with Captain Underpants and the Wrath of the Wicked Wedgie Woman. Virginia is paired with Dogman Unleashed. And last but not least, Auburn is paired with Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets. So it looks like it is a matchup of four Dave Pilkey books. Which one do you think is going to win?